Hi all folks, this is Max from droidbionicroot.com. So today I'm going to show you how to back up your latest rooted stock ROM. Um, you might want to back it up just in case something goes wrong. Or when you go unrooted, you'll want to restore it back to your stock ROM. Um, because if you're on another ROM, then it's, you know, you can't really unroot it. You can unroot it, but you'll have uh, the, another ROM. So here's how to do it. First, you'll need a rooted Droid Bionic and also bootstrap application installed. I have links below if you haven't done those. Once you've done those, um, let's get into uh, Clockwork My Recovery by starting uh, bootstrap, Bionic Bootstrap, reboot into recovery. And your phone should reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, where we're gonna back up our current ROM. It's very simple. It takes just five seconds or five minutes. Um, so I highly suggest you to do this right after you get the phone. Uh, here, let me zoom in here with my Canon 70 DSLR camera. I highly recommend it, by the way. Um, go down to Backup and Restore. Hit the power button. And oh, also I forgot to tell you, make sure uh, SD card, you have an SD card because this Clockwork Mod Recovery only works with an SD card, external SD card. Go to uh, Backup, hit the power button, and it's backing up. This should take five minutes and I'll be back uh, when this is done. Hi folks, so backup is done. Um, so anytime I need to restore my uh, this backup, I can go, actually I'll restore it just to prove you that it works. Um, you can get back in here. Go to backup and restore, hit the power button. Um, select restore, hit the power button. And this will give you different dates if you made uh, multiple backups. And I made a uh, backup on S September 17th and today at October 2nd. And you, I'll show you later how to change these folder names so you, it's more memorable. Anyway, I'm going to restore it back to what I just backed up. Restore and hit restore. And this should take another five minutes too. And I'll be back. Hi, all folks. So, restore is complete. We're going to reboot. And I'm going to show you that it, I made a backup and restored it. Hi, all folks. So, I've rebooted. Um, everything's working fine. Um, it's just, I restored my current ROM. Uh, anyway, let me show you how to change the folder name. Um, get the ES file explorer from the market. It's free. Um, and you can open up the app. And all your ROM backups are stored under um, your SD card. This is actually the internal storage. So let's go to... Let's go up a level here. And uh, sh you can go to SD card EXT. That's that's the actual SD card. The SD card is internal. Go to uh, SD card dash EXT, and go to Clockwork Mod directory. You see, it's Clockwork Mod, and go to Backup, and that's the same directory uh, we where you um, backed up your stuff. So I'm just going to change this, uh, rename it, and I'm going to add after the date. I'm going to add. Um, stock stock so that's my stock um, now I can you know you can do this after you install new ROMs and then I can rename it to let's say uh, you know the best ROM or you know alien ROM and, and then you can have a bunch of backups and you know how to ad identify and you can go to clockwork mod recovery and switch to different ROMs without reinstalling ROMs from scratch anyway that's how you back up uh, restore ROMs on your uh, Droid Bionic. Anyway, uh, this is highly recommended. The first time you root your phone, um, just do do this, and uh, you'll always be able to go back if somehow you break your phone or something. Anyway, subscribe. Check out DroidBionicRoot.com. I'll have more cool tips. See y'all later, and subscribe. Thanks.